I'm Eric Nasa with Newshooter.com, and today we are again with Ted Sim from Aperture. I see something pretty cool right there next to you, and I want to know more. What do we got? Today we have the new 60D and 60X. We're announcing brand new products that have never been shown before, never even been hinted before. It's been something we've been working on for a long time, and then we think we finally got something that we're excited to show. Today, all the information is going to be available at dealers, so you are able to get a Notify Me page there. However, price for this is not set yet, but let's talk about what it is real first. So this right here is the 60D and 60X, which I'll get to in a second. So 60D, first of all, it stands for a 60 watt raw output LED. This is different than a lot of aperture lights because number one, this is an all-inclusive design here, which means that yes, in this single head here, not only do we have the actual LED itself, but we've also got, if I point this to the back, my power of the sun, I have also got full spot and flood compatibility here. So if I want to turn this down, I can spot and flood the actual light from the inside of the light itself using on the inside an aspherical lens here that's actually going to give me a 15 to 45 degree beam angle. Now, likewise, when I actually go through here, I can get full dimming. And of course I can change my color temperature if I have the 60X version. Daylight version is a little bit brighter, of course. Now, as far as the light goes, a couple of interesting things that we want to talk about here. Number one, we do have a built-in Fresnel here. However, that does not mean that this is the only accessory it can be used with. So it does come with barn doors naturally, but if I want to take these barn doors out, pop these out, and if I want to switch on something else a little bit, I actually have a little adapter here, and this adapter right here is mini mount to Bowen's mount. So on the front here, you've got your mini mount, phone's mount. All I have to do is just take this, drop it into place, and after I drop it into place, I just clip that in and bang, all of a sudden now, this mini light is actually now compatible with all Bowen's mount accessories. So you can see right now I'm using it with the Light Dome Mini, but this can also get used with things like the Light Dome, the Lantern, whenever you want to be able to pop in that little bit of punch. And again, this is significantly smaller than the 120D because again, the controller box, everything is built into the actual light itself. Likewise, all the other battery options and things like that are also made to be as condensed as possible as well. So let me pop this off real quick. I'm gonna pull out our little light dome. There you go. And if I wanna actually show the different battery options here, we have tried to make this as versatile of a light as we can get. So on the side here, number one, you have full wall power. So if I wanna patch this into wall power, you can see we've actually got this mounted onto the light itself with a weatherproofed connection there, which we'll talk about in a second. But when I open up this and actually pop this off, you can see there's a little V-mount plate here. So I can snap in whatever accessory I want here. But in addition to this V-mount plate being able to be here, what that does mean is that if I actually want to take this, take this off real quick, pull this Velcro, and pull this off, all I need to do is unscrew this little connection here, pop this off, take a battery, and because of course it is V-mount, and because this is a light that's only pulling 60 watts of power, I can really use any V-mount battery I want, even smaller ones, basically all V-mount batteries will work in this case. And all I have to do is just pop this on, and bada bing, bada boom, just like that, I now have power that I'm running off the V-mount. Now likewise, let's say I don't have V-mount batteries, let's say I'm going with something a little bit faster, I want something a little bit more portable, I can take off this V-mount battery, I can swap it out with, even something like Sony and PF batteries. So this is another thing that we're gonna make basically fully compatible. Got a V-mount plate here on the back. So all I gotta do is take this V-mount plate and then over here, snap it in and just like that, I now have full compatibility that can be powered from the light itself. So all I gotta do is unscrew this. This cable I was using for the V-mount battery, pop this in over here and one, two, three, everything is now powering once again. So. Getting full power now off of Sony MPF batteries. If I wanted to use two MPF batteries, I can get full intensity out of this light, but we know a lot of the time that you guys don't always have two batteries to be able to use. So if I wanted to go off with just a single battery here as well too, you can do that as well and you'll get full, just basically half power in that case. We want to make sure that all the coding, all the programming and the light is ready and prepared to be able to take different levels of power so they can give you whatever intensity you need in that moment. So let me pop this off and go right back to wall power. And I wanna show off a couple of the last of the features of this light. So number one, 60 watt LED built in for now. So what does that mean as far as intensity goes? Now, the first thing to say about intensity is that let's compare this to a light that's probably the most similar to it in the past that we've made is the mini 20s, the mini 20D, the mini 20C. Now, if you wanna compare this in terms of raw intensity, this is actually gonna be approximately over four times as bright as the mini 20D. So very, very punchy and not that much larger. Likewise, if you wanna compare this to something like a 120D Mark II, uh, here's something that's pretty crazy and exciting about it. Again, it's a very, very small fixture, very compact, all-inclusive. Compared to a 120D Mark II, 
This right here at spot is actually going to give you approximately 50,000 lux at one meter away. Now, if I were to compare this with something like say a 120D Mark II with the Fresnel on full spot, you're actually gonna be looking at something close to around 67 to 69,000 lux. So again, as far as comparability, so again, as far as comparability goes to the 120D Mark II, this is a very, very comparable light in that fixture. Finally, of course, we do have the bicolored model coming out as well. That is, of course, the 60X, X standing for crossfade. So if I want to change from daylight to tungsten, I can change all the way from my color temperature range of the tungsten to daylight. That's going to be 2,700. Sorry, two, that's 2,600, right? 27. Sorry, yeah, I got it right the first time. So if you want to be able to change your color temperature range, you can actually go all the way down to 2,700, all the way up to 6,500, and you get that full color temperature range built into the actual light itself. Finally, I think the last thing that I want to mention here is that, yes, this is also, as far as the build quality goes, compared to the Mini 20, this is a full aircraft aluminum build. So very, very strong, very durable. Uh, it honestly just feels nice to touch. But as far as the actual light goes as well, one of the things that we want to build in, because again, we know the way that SAT treats their gear, uh, it's rugged, it's not ideal all the time. So this right here is actually a fully weatherproof light as well. So this can be left out in the rain, no problems. We're trying to make sure that all of your gear is rugged in that way that you don't have to worry about a splash or something like that hurting your LEDs. But that is about it. This is the 60D and the 60X. Uh, very excited about it. Wait, I forgot one more thing. Hold on one second. As far as the accessories go, the reason I didn't mention this is because it hasn't come out yet, but I just wanna say a couple of the plans of what will be coming out for this light. With this kind of light, for a lot of people out there, I think one of the biggest things is, can I use this light with uh, Sidus? Can I use this light with all of my remote control capabilities? Previous Mini 20, you could not control it remotely, but as far as the 60D and the 60X goes, yes, you can control it entirely via Sidus. So if I want to grab an app or something like that, come on over here and say, you know what, let's uh, turn this light on. I can do all of this compatibility from here on the actual app itself. So all I have to do is hit quarter, half, full, and I can change between my intensities. I can dim this up and down and all the effects and things like that that are usually built in Sidus, things like pulsing, things like fireworks, things like explosions or lightning, pulsing, all this can be done via the actual app itself, and it'll actually program and tell the app what to do as far as the actual lighting. Finally, for modifiers, again, not only does it work with all the previous modifiers that we talked about, the light domain and things like that, but yes, we do also have a Spotlight Mini coming out as well. And it's not a regular Spotlight Mini, it's a Spotlight Mini Zoom, meaning that you will be able to zoom in and out different gobo patterns, different Spotlight flood for that. So this is coming out as well for a extremely Hyper point source light that can be shaped and modified however you need it. This is coming as well for that too. So this is designed to be your workforce mini light that you can take onto any set. Any light that you want to ping off of something in particular for a lot of you guys out there using reflector systems, this is really going to be perfect for you guys out there as well. Um, as far as availability of this light, not available yet. It will be available this summer, however, so we'll be seeing a release date on that very soon. Likewise, as far as pricing, I uh, can't announce anything yet, but should be available pretty soon. Uh, and again, at Optra, we try to make everything as price competitive and affordable as can be. If it's not exciting, we don't want to release it. So you guys will see and be able to hear from that soon. Now, that is about it for the 60D and the 60X. But of course, we do have one more release coming up. And that right here is the Aperture Light Bulb. So I think this is something that we've been getting a lot of questions about. And one of the things that we wanted to show off at NAB was basically, what are the new updates and things that we've been able to work on for it? So first thing I want to mention here is basically you're going to see a couple of design changes. We actually did a full redesign on the actual light. And the reason for that is we basically had a choice at a certain point. It was we could have the battery built inside and be basically a smart bulb that, again, if you want to have wall sconces or something like that, you can just drill them into the wall, drop in a light bulb with a light bulb battery into it. You can actually get a light moving there wherever you want without having to do the electrical work. However, one of the problems though with the battery is that we were limited by the actual full amount of brightness we could do. Also, we wanted to make sure that the flood and the spread of the light was as good as it could be. So on the top here, you can see first thing first, on the top here, you're gonna see a little bit of a hole here. Now you can't actually see it on camera or anything like that. And that's intended and designed. You can see it, the only way we can really see it at all is if I dim this down a lot. But that hole right there is gonna do a couple things. One, it's going to curve the actual light that's going to come out of this to make the spread of the light a little bit more natural and even more as far as rounded out as much as it could be. Likewise, uh, as far as the actual heat dissipation goes on this bulb, be, by being able to redesign the heat vents on the side and on the top here, 
We have been able to do it. We did not want to compromise. We now, for instance, have the brightest seven watt smart bulb on the market. That is not only extremely color accurate for you filmmakers, and this will not flicker no matter what frame rate you're at. Likewise, this is totally wirelessly controllable. So if I want to change my color temperature, my hue, my saturation, my intensity, all of this can be done via the app. Or if I want to go into the actual light itself and say I want to change the color temperature between say some common presets like uh, tungsten to daylight, I have all of that built into the light itself too. So I can do all of that by clicking right here and changing the actual color on the light itself. I've also got a plus and minus, and of course the battery in there means that if I have a practical or something like that, and I don't like that little light cable that's coming out of there, I can just cut that light cable no problem. So here are the main updates that we wanted to show on this light. It's not easy to make this stuff quickly, but we wanted to show you what we're working on. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for it. We wanted to make sure that when this comes out, this is ready to be the filmmaker bulb for all of us for a long time to come. So this has all the new features in it, all the new specs. Uh, this right here is called the Accent B7C. B standing for bulb, C standing for seven watts, and C standing for fully color mixing. In the future as well too, we are also possibly thinking about doing even brighter and even more pro models, but uh, this is very soon close to coming out. For you guys that are wondering when it's coming out, uh, it's coming out this summer as well. Price is not set yet, but from what we previously announced, we expect it to be in the ballpark around $69. So uh, you'll see that pretty soon. But I believe that's it. These are our main releases for week three of our new releases. That is the 60D, the 60X, and of course the B7C. All three of these are coming this summer. Uh, we can't announce exactly when, but they will be coming out as soon as they're ready. Thank you.